This is Marshall Jones at Winthrop University, and this video will show you how you can add music to an Audacity file. We use this a lot when we're doing podcasts, particularly if we want intro music, outro music, or background music. To do this, we're going to use Audacity's feature of having multiple tracks. So we're going to have a track with our voice, and we're going to have a track with some music in it as well. We can name our tracks, and sometimes that's helpful if you're going to have multiple tracks. So I'm going to call this one Voice. And I've already recorded my podcast, and it's a really exciting podcast. This is Marshall Jones, and this is my podcast on deciduous trees. Yes, that's right, deciduous trees. So what I want is, is I want some background music. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import an MP3 file, and I'm We'll go to the file menu, import, and I'm going to choose this piece of audio. Now, right away, you can see that my podcast is less than 15 seconds, but my music file is three minutes and 15 seconds or so. So clearly that's not going to work. I'm going to do some very, very rough editing here, and I'm just going to highlight some of that and highlight some of this. And we're going to make it go away. And so now we have in our music track, uh, we have just the music. So I'm going to scroll up and mute the voice so you can hear the music. Okay, so that's our music. If I unmute it, uh, then if I play it all together... You can't hear my voice, so we're get, we need to do some editing here. It's hard to work with a file quite this small, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that we can see something bigger and have something that's a little easier to work with. Okay, I am. first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some of this music here. I'm just going to highlight a bit. I'm going to go to the Effect menu, and I'm going to go to Fading, and I'm going to Fade In. Okay, I didn't get quite all of it here, so I'm going to delete that little piece right there. So if I fade in, I'm going to mute this track again. If I fade in, it sounds like this. Okay, now what I want to do is on the other side of this is I want to fade out. I'll go back to the effect menu, to fading, to fade out. So you can see here we have this crescendo at the beginning and a day crescendo at the end. So what I want to do then is to take my voice track and position it sort of right in between the fade in and the fade out. So if I, I'm going to turn the volume down just a little bit here, turn the gain down a little bit. I'm going to unmute my voice and here's my audio file. This is Marshall Jones, and this is my podcast. Now, the fade-in works pretty well. Fading episodes about oaks. The fade-out works pretty well, and you can, you can notice that even without doing a lot of uh, sophisticated editing, the fade-in, fade-out is pretty forgiving in sort of what it will let you do. But the, vo the vast majority of my audio is still too loud for my voice. And in a separate video, I'll show you how you can split that audio clip, move it to another track, so you can lower just the background audio. I'm Marshall Jones at Winthrop University.